Hey tribe and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Card House series. This is going to be a collective message for all placements, all signs. Please keep in mind that it is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. Parts of the message might resonate, parts of it might not and that is totally okay. Um, if you guys are interested in a private reading with me, all the booking information is going to be listed in the description box below. Also, if you are looking to support and donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App at Pure Black Magic. Okay. Um, what else? These readings are timeless. So, whenever you find this reading or whenever it finds you is when it's meant to be, when you're meant to apply it in your life. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started. We have a card popping out here, um, and it says Ears Wide Open. So, I feel like you guys are. Something is heightened here. I feel like your senses are heightened. I feel like you are observing, you're listening. I really feel like you're focused in on something here with this ears wide open card. Okay. I feel like you're open to receiving. There's a lot of stars around this animal. I'm getting like a lot of blessings. You got you guys could be waiting to hear um to hear back from someone for something too. That's what I'm getting. So you could be waiting on a phone call or just some sort of message, some sort of decision or some sort of ruling in general. But I'm just saying that you're all ears. You could be wanting to hear someone out really wanting to know an explanation behind someone's actions, the reasoning for something taking place here. This is also number 33, okay? So the number three could be significant. The number six could be significant as well. Now, before I started you guys' reading, um, in the pre-shuffle, I kept seeing the connections card, the romantic connections card, I also saw the soulmate card, okay? So this ears wide open could be relating to some sort of romantic relationship. Maybe you are trying to or wanting to hear someone out, okay? Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have close encounters. Yeah, so I feel like whoever you are waiting on to call you, message you, email you, I feel like this individual is very close to you. Or the situation at hand is very near and dear to your heart. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we get. Let's pull a wisdom card for the collective. I see the go to distance card at the bottom of the deck. So, and I split the deck and I see the soulmates card again. Okay. So go to distance and then the soulmates card. I feel like this is confirmation for someone to... To hear someone out or to just invest more in a relationship. I feel like if you are undecided, if you should continue to invest in a relationship or a person or a situation, this is confirmation that you should. You should go to distance, okay? You guys are soulmates. You guys are destined to be together. Or you guys, you know, you have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. And there's a lot of different type of soulmates. I feel like if you are in, dealing with an individual... It's meant for you guys to learn from each other. Something is meant to be learned on both ends from one another here, okay? So there's a need for you, if you have been closed off to this person, there's a need for you to be a lot more open. There's a need for you to the go to distance card is at the bottom of the deck again. There's a need for you to go to distance, to hear them out, to give this some time, some patience, um, to put some work into this connection, okay? Well, let's see. Oh, all right. So we have this unfinished symphony card that just popped out here and you see it kind of just spun around. I'm going to take it in the upright. So, yeah, I feel like something is not done here. A relationship, a situation, some sort of connection with someone else is not done. It's unfinished. It's an unfinished symphony. OK, there's more for you guys to explore together, experience together. There's more work that has to be done here in this relationship. And it could be returning to something else. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be with family or friends. This could be in regards to work or business as well. 
Um, we'll get more into it, but just apply it how you see fit, okay? We have the yin card at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about balance here. This is balance. This is harmony, okay? This 33 equals to a number six from the ears wide open card. That's all about balance as well. So I feel like there is a need to... Um, There's a need to bring the balance, the harmony, the love, the lightheartedness, the nurturing, the sensitivity back into a relation here, relationship here. That's what I'm getting with this yin card. It's a lot of feminine energy. So you could be dealing with, you know, um, a woman or just a feminine energy as well. It can definitely be a guy, a masculine energy. Um, but maybe he's just more sensitive. His feminine side kind of outweighs his masculine side. Okay. Cause we all have masculine and feminine, um, energies within us. So yeah, other than that, I'm really feeling a sense that things are going to turn out really good for you guys behind the yin card. We have the deep knowing card as well. Okay. So maybe your intuition is telling you, or maybe you just have this gut feeling about this person, but things aren't working out right now or the situation, but things aren't going as planned or as you thought it would. That could definitely be it. Let's pull an energy card and see what else comes out. Ooh. Okay. So we have the angel of balance popping out here. So that's balance three times, the thinking woman. And then we have adjacent possibilities. All right, so maybe you're thinking about how to work something out. Maybe you're thinking about exploring your options. You're thinking about shifting something um, or exploring different ways to bring balance into your life or into a relationship here. I feel like you're very much so open to it, though. Some of you guys may be open to it. Some of you guys are not. This could be recent past energy, um, current energy, or near future, depending upon where you are in your journey. But I feel like there's balance here. Let me just, um, let's see if we can get one card to pop out. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, before I shuffle again, we have the action card. So first we had the go to distance card in the other deck. Now we have the action card, pretty much the same energy. There's a need for you to, I don't know, someone needs to act. Someone needs to put in more work here. All right. So now we have the daughter romance showing face. We have patience and we have contracts. Yeah, there's a need for you to have patience in this situation. Daughter romance, I'm heavily feeling that this is romantic related. It's going to be different for everybody. So it might not. It could just be something that you have a lot of love for, a lot of passion for, a situation. And there's a need for you to hold tight. There's a need for you to stick through. There's a need for you to continue to go after a dream or a person, a goal. Okay. If you are wanting something to be official here or like an official relationship, a marriage, or just some sort of um some sort of security, I feel like someone you or someone in your environment is wanting very heavily. I feel like that I feel like it's here for you, but there's just a need for you to have patience, okay? Um, I'm getting that a conversation needs to be had. Maybe communication is not, is not very clear between you and this other individual, but this door to romance here, I feel like the door is opening up with this door to romance there. It just requires you to have patience. And I feel like if you have that patience with this person or the situation, that something solid would come from it. Okay. Cause it's clearly unfinished here. But let's just put back these two. We'll keep the door of the romance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the community card. So this could be dealing for sure with a group of people. Um, other than that, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you either view this person this way or they view, this, they view you this way as far as kind of just being the it girl, the it guy, the apple of their eye, kind of just... I feel like you're the only person they see, but I'm sensing some sort of fear here, some sort of lack here, some sort of lack of communication. All right. So you or the other person could be thinking about wanting to just cut ties to give up on a situation or relationship. I also saw the woman holding a heart as well in the pre-shuffle. So 
Yeah, Karen Connection, soulmate, and a woman holding a heart. So you could be that woman or just that energy holding back from this other individual here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go into the tarot, see what else we can get. What is ears wide open for the collective? If you have made it this far, you guys, please like the video. Share, subscribe to the channel. We also do monthly giveaways, okay, for free energy reading. So if you are a subscriber, you are automatically entered. If you share any of the content on the channel and tag uh, the Pure Black Magic business page, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, um, you actually get a double entry, okay? I just saw the Four of Wands. It did not pop out, but that's just even more so letting me know that this is about some sort of union, marriage, relationship, official contract, um, a home could be involved as well. Let's see. What is ears wide open? You could be hearing, you could be waiting to hear back approval for a house or a loan for a house. That's a side message that I'm getting. All right. So we have the six of swords. We have the two of wands and we have the hierophant. You could be moving towards a Taurus. Okay. Or again, you could be wanting to gain some sort of higher level of commitment here the two of wands is looking forward it's moving forward i feel like you want to there's something that you want to make more stable here more stability more official you could also just be um wanting to dive in deeper into like spiritual practices here but i feel like you are in a phase of learning okay I feel like your ears are wide open because you want to gain some sort of information, some sort of knowledge. You want to know how to do something. The Hierophant can also represent some sort of institution or schooling or, um, yeah, some sort of course. I feel like you're eager to learn. You're eager to find something out. So this could definitely be pertaining to just you learning yourself more you finding yourself more or diving into some sort of practice or course some sort of education okay but with the six of swords you're you're moving into better times you're moving into a brighter perspective you're moving into an energy that's a lot better for you you could have a few people that are kind of hanging on to your energy trying to hold you back here I feel like you need to leave these individuals alone. You know you need to leave them alone. You need to leave something behind and you're fully aware of it, okay? It's just all a matter of you taking action at this point. That's why I kept seeing that action card. It's all a matter of you taking action because your ears are wide open. I feel like you've learned enough, you've learned enough, you've heard enough. There's just a need for you to to do something, to move, to pursue. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is about balance again for the fourth time here, okay? Hmm. I'm getting the sense that you just need to persevere. Things are going to balance out for you. What is this unfinished symphony? You could be a fire sign as well, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is this? All right, so we got, oh, so we got balance for the what, fifth time? So we have the two of pentacles falling out. We have the queen of cups. And then here we have a, oh, okay, a bunch of different cards. Unfinished symphony. All right, so there's a need for you to balance something out here. It could be with a water, a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. All right, queen of cups. And then we have the ace of cups. So there's love here. There's a lot of love here. I feel like. Something has the potential to be very emotionally fulfilling, all right? I feel like this can also lead to marriage with this Queen of Cups, and then we have the Hierophant card back there. It's going to make you very happy with this Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. And then you have the Sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck here, okay? This is Leo energy. And then you have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So heavy... Pretty much everyone is here, but heavy water, heavy earth, you or someone else could have those elements highly aspected in your chart. Something is not finished. If you thought that you missed out on an opportunity with something, you did not. 
if you feel like something is over and done it is not okay um i'm getting a mix of this being about love and or finances here you guys have some of the best cards in the deck the queen of cups with the ace of cups the nine of pentacles i'm sorry the nine of cups nine of pentacles though some sort of um gaining some sort of independence some sort of glow some sort of happiness nine of sun uh i'm sorry nine of sun the sun and then the king of pentacles so something is is deemed to be very valuable here very stable with this king of pentacles all right your person could be an earth sign and you could be a water sign because we have a king and a queen here just different suits or it could be vice versa you could be the earth sign your person could be the water sign um but there's a need for you to hang tight okay so we have the moon card here this represents fear this represents secret something not being illuminated this is heavy cancer energy too all right so i feel like something is stagnant or something is not growing or progressing because of fear because of fear of the unknown You guys could be circling back around with someone for your from your past. That's what I'm getting from this unfinished symphony card too. Maybe a relationship or a situation, a business opportunity, or working with someone in general didn't work out the first time around. That's why it's unfinished. Um, but I feel like you or whoever else involved being kind of, you know, open to trying things out again. You're wanting to reopen this door to romance. Or you're wanting to reopen a door to something that you hold very dearly to your heart. Something that you really value. Something that you really want to do here. Behind the moon card, we have the five of swords and the seven of swords. Yeah, so I feel like whatever, whoever, whatever this is concerning, there was a lot of conflict here. There was mental conflict. There could have been some lies, some deception, some sneakiness going on. All right, but this person wants a new beginning with this full card. It could be an Aries. Yeah, I feel like someone's made their mind up about you because we have the Ace of Swords, a, de a definitive answer. Um, this could also be a truth or a message coming in. Someone could be spilling out, you know, their heart to you or letting you know that they want to try again. They want to try this business opportunity again or this love offer again. They're moving out of this two of swords energy, which is blocking you out or blocking out the connection. I feel like someone now is just so for sure that they want to put in effort to this, that they want to try again. Their ears are wide open. They're ready. Let's see what this daughter romance card is. What is daughter romance for the collective? And you know what? Honestly, for the past about about week or two we've been getting a constant energy of probably longer than the past two weeks but for sure the past week or two we've been getting the energy of um like a second chance or trying again or you know making things right it's just been very prominent so i feel like this is a collective message i feel like most of the collective is kind of just in that energy of a do-over i don't know kind of righting their wrongs a second chance at love a second chance at life a second chance at business at goals at dreams what is door to romance so if you're resonating with this reading you should go check out those other readings yeah so we have the seven of swords made its way out the ten of cups and the queen of wands all right I feel like, yeah, there's been some sort of deception here in a relationship or a family dynamic. Um, Queen of Wands, a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius can be, could be involved. But I just feel like someone is kind of hesitant to open up to another individual or to open up to this opportunity or this situation again. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. All right, so this is about reconciliation. I feel like you guys are going to reconcile with whoever this is for you, whoever this person is, whatever this situation is, I feel like it's going to come together for you, okay? This is also a card of celebration. 
also a card of partying. I'm just really getting that, let me see, nine of swords, yep, seven of cups, and the eight of wands. Yeah, this is communication. So maybe this person has already communicated to you. If they haven't, I feel like they will be very soon. They want to reopen this door to romance. They want to rekindle what you guys once had. Again, I'm getting heavy fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really getting Leo, honestly. That's coming in for you. With this Seven of Cups, someone is trying to figure out how to get their family back, how to get this love back, how to get this Ten of Cups energy back between you guys. The Nine of Swords is clarifying this Seven of Swords. So yeah, someone, I feel like this is the other party. This could be you, but I feel like this is the other party. There's something very deceptive, something very sneaky, um, lied about something. Something was just not done by the book here and it left you in this position of being upset of being depressed of crying worrying about it all right but someone wants to make it right again i'm feeling heavy water i feel like you are a fire sign and your person is a water sign um yeah i'm definitely getting that it could be reversed but that's what i'm getting here someone wants to reconcile um, there's unfinished business here, whether it's love or actual, or actual business, excuse me, but someone wants to make it right. All right. Let's see. Let's see what the, um, potential outcome is or any uh, extra messages concerning this reading. I just saw the success card at the bottom of the deck. I also saw the power card, success and power, potential. Yeah, I feel like this situation, this relationship, whatever this is for you, you would know a lot better than me. I feel like it has potential here. Maybe something wasn't done right um, in the beginning or something wasn't done right the first time around, but there's potential. All right, so we got one card to pop over. Blessings. So the outcome is a blessing here possibly a blessing in disguise that was also a collective read that i posted a few days ago then we have solitude at the bottom of the deck okay hmm so this individual could be reaching out to you soon i feel like they want to get you alone or they want to go out for coffee or dinner something of the source there's a conversation that needs to be had that wants to be had whether it's on your part or the other individual's part but i feel like this is going to turn out to be a blessing for you if you're willing or open which it seems like you are because we have ears wide open if you're willing to hear this person out hear the situation out i feel like things are going to turn around for the better okay i do see a heavy reconciliation coming in the future again you know your decisions are your own i'm just here to help so hopefully this does help you. If it resonates, please, please, please leave a comment and let me know how. Um, and I will see you guys next time.